I think the latest Eximetry update could be total game changer because of one function. And that function is it's possible now to program all your camera movements, your virtual camera movements with the sequencer instead of just using an A and a B point. This opens up a whole new world of making interactive dynamic camera movements. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a super easy way. So of course, first you need to update to the latest uh, Eximeter version. And when you update, uh, you will notice that you have some a few new points over here, uh, which is uh, these guys. Sequent cam transfer, sequent zoom factor, and sequent focus distance. Uh, and I noticed that they also added a really good compound that's called camera sequencer that you just drag into your compound and then you connect it to seek cam. Oh, you just connect these guys. Uh, and as you can see, now we are on camera path one. We used to have a 1A and 1B point, which is good, but uh, pretty boring. So what you do is uh, select your camera one and put it to sequencer instead. And you can see everything jumping to the zero point. But uh, the way you want to use this is first edit compound in place go into the compound and select this pin collector. And you wanna put it to uh, you know, some, some of your control boards, the main control, for example, and that puts it over here. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to this one, but you have the pause, the play and the stop button, and you also have the backwards and the bounce and the looping, etc. What do you do then if you wanna program something? Then you have to get into the really powerful sequencer. Uh, so I will just select uh, camera one, and then I will go into uh, uh, this one, the camera sequencer. So if you go from the beginning, you have the regular. I'm using the mix cam, but uh, uh, you can use the virtual compound or whatever. So go into the camera sequencer and double click the camera sequencer that brings you up to the sequencer and as you can see the axiometry guys have made it really easy for us we have the cam 1 cam 2 cam 3 and so on and the first thing you need to know is navigating the sequencer and so pushing the middle mouse button and dragging uh, makes you go left or right and up and down and one thing that's really useful is holding control and dragging, which makes it zoom out and in. So let's program camera one. Uh, as you can see, you can go to the part thing here and you can make the parts as long as you want. But I think 30 seconds is good enough for the demonstration. So remove the first keyframes and maybe zoom in a bit and Place the cursor is placed at zero, perfect. And select the cam one. And here you have a, a film slate. Select the position. Uh, oh yeah, if you have them all selected, you have them all uh, marked. This puts them in record keyframe mode. So uh, with the preview up, uh, you just, uh, like you regularly move the camera in Eximetry. I use the middle mouse button and I find I will find the first position uh, somewhere over here. Uh, and maybe 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 we do, we do something crazy. Let's start like this. And now we're happy with the first uh, keyframe. Let's push the film slate down here to record it. And then we can move forward a few points. Maybe we, we do a slow beginning, go to seven seconds, and then we can continue in. And we do something like this. We'll land over here, like a main entrance. And then we record a keyframe again. And then we can have a look by dragging it back to the beginning and push spacebar. So here we have a good opening. 
like so. And maybe we wanna add some easing to these guys. Uh, so if you select these guys, you could drag on the ease here. Let's add one, the full, the full width of the ease. Let's see how it looks. If it worked, is it easing? Yeah, it's easing, that's nice. Uh, and then we can continue programming the move. I'm holding down the middle mouse button, going to 12 seconds. Maybe we wanna have a slow pull, pull in or push in. I don't know the correct terms in English and record it again. So let's see. Yeah, we have some wiggling. Uh, let's see how this looks. Maybe we want to have an ease in as well here. So add, add ease. We really want to ease into it. We start over here. And we had some, let's see if we could uh, have a, I don't know, TCB maybe? You have to play around. I haven't played around too much with these guys, but you need to be wary of the, let's, how, let's do a scene on both of them. Let's see how it looks. So it's kind of slows down. You could of course do a better job trying these, these guys out, but wasn't quite happy with that one. Let's see if we can. Maybe it should be power. Let's try the power one. No, not really. Kind of want to have it this year. We'll see how that, if it's continuous. So it's swaying a bit. Uh, maybe we need to. Let's I think you could, uh, yeah, here's a lot of more control. You have to play around with it. You can do some really nice stuff. And I guess you wanna have TCB in as well. Let's see how that looks. It's better, but yeah, you have to work on this. But the thing I wanna, point out is that you can do whatever. So control and middle mouse button is zooming out. So we could continue on here. Let's let's do uh, something like this. Okay, that looks, you have to stay in the, maybe we go back here and we record that keyframes. Let's see what happens. It's pretty good. So what happens if you want to do the other camera movements, uh, other camera angles? So let's uncheck the uh, recordings and I think we should go to main control and select camera number two. Then we go back to sequence editor and select all tracks for the camera two as uh, record enable, and then go back to zero, and then we could also zoom in maybe, spacebar and left middle mouse button. No, left <laughs> spacebar and left button, left mouse button. So maybe we could do something totally different, something over here, like a like some some kind of tele. Let's see. Yeah, we do something like this. So record this uh, starting point, and then we could go to maybe have a long slow to fifteen seconds. 
So we have a long dolly shot here. And let's record that. Let's see how that looks. Pretty cool. And then you can go to uh, the main control and then you can of, of course cut between those. This really gives you more options to create dynamic camera movements and program the camera cameras exactly the way you want. And you can have you know, these long uh, virtual movements that are going all through the scene and whatnot. And um, I think I'm from now on only going to use uh, this particular compound and this particular setup. Uh, and it also makes it very easy to uh, modify the camera movements uh, on the fly. So. Uh, I hope you learned something and uh, keep trying out and have fun with it. See ya.